previously on Edgemont. Hi there. Hi. Hooker! She said that about me, my clothes! I love the way you dress. Well, she's not gonna get away with it. I said you could read over my essay, numbnuts. I didn't say you can copy it. Chris, buddy, I'll make it right. Yeah, you will. No, Travis. Oh, shit. Were you out all night? Until three. For now to get at five to have another look. Have you talked to all of his friends? Nobody's seen him. Where'd you go? The usual places, the rink, underground parking at the mall, a security guard chased me out. What if he got on a bus or something? What did mom say? She left for work, walked right past your room, didn't even notice Travis was gone. Are you kidding me? Mark, what if he's really in trouble? You get it done? Yeah, two 2,500 word essays in one night. You're amazing, man. This sure was 10 minutes ago. That means yours is probably better then, huh? I'll hand in this one. Hey! Call his friends again, see if they have any answers. We have to call the police. If he doesn't turn up by noon. Where are you going? The locker. You have to see Ravson right now. You're suspended, remember? Meet me at 12 o'clock in my locker. Right. Hey, Mark. Mark, my man. But, uh, Later, Scott. Look, I'm in love, OK? So propose to her. Here, I really like her, but it's like the minute she's around, I freeze. Or I, I believe there's something totally stupid. Just be yourself, man. Don't worry about it. Be myself. Yeah, that's fine, but who am I? Why did you get on it? 91. That doesn't make any sense. How did I get a 79? Well, the first set of questions, the ones you filled out yourself. Well, next time, double check them. Laurel, hi. Hi, Annika, how are you? Oh, fantastic. You? Great, thanks. Me, thanks. Well, by the time today's over, she'll be looking into private school. Ooh. What could be so bad that she'd have to leave school? Not just school, she had to move. Laurel Young can't even show her face in Toronto anymore. You won't believe what I just heard about Laurel Young. Hi, Laurel. Pardon? I'm Scott. Remember we met? We're in geography together. I, I was just wondering if you wanted to study for that, that test that we got on Friday, you and me. Like, now. So, like, what do you say? About what? Oh, I'm sorry, sorry, what were you saying? Uh, no, 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 nothing. Forget, forget it. Excuse me. Ravinson was nice? Yeah, he kept talking about difficult life transitions. <laughs> I wonder where he got that one. I said it to him to get him off your back, sorry. Well, when I got up to leave, 
He tried to hug me. <laughs> Ooh, he loves you. He did reduce suspension to a week of detention, though, so... He does love you. Jen, come on. All right, seriously, what matters is it worked out. So I'll see you in a bit. Wait, where are you going? I left my running shoes at home. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. What? Do you have a quarter? Probably, what for? Uh, phone. Travis took off yesterday. He didn't come home. I was out all night looking for him. What? Yeah, I gotta call the police. Well, didn't your parents call the police? My parents don't know yet. Mark. I know, I know. Thanks. That's all you're gonna do? Fine, I'll just call back tomorrow then. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Whoa, look, I gotta meet Kat. There she is. That's her. I'm gonna be normal. I have to go. You're going to help me. You have to keep me centered, keep me calm. Okay? Hey, Laurel. Uh, this is my buddy, Mark Diostati. Mark, this is Laurel. Hi. So, and so, you're from Toronto, right? Yep, right downtown. Hey, uh, Scotty's got a great story. We'll be in at the Sky Dome, Scotty. I want to thank you for being in my life. I love everything about you. I love touching you. I love being near you. Scotty. Scott, tell the story, man. Uh, I've never been to the Sky Dome before. Basically, I hear it's big. My dad dragged me there once to see the stones. You went to a rock concert with your dad? I don't know. It was more pathetic. The sound system or him singing along with Mick Jagger. <laughs> uh, Scott knows all about uh, sound systems. What is it? Uh, acoustic problem or what? Don't. Yes. <laughs> I gotta go. Yeah, well, I've gotta go too. Maybe I'll see you around. You heard her? She said maybe I'll see you around. There's hope, man, there's hope. So, have you decided which university? Oh, probably more like college. I never save enough money. I'm going to UBC, major in history and minor in political science. Yeah? Yeah, either that or a double major. I haven't quite decided yet. Is this before or after you finish grade 11? Yeah, well, yeah, it'll be a couple years down the road. But, yeah, that's my general plan. You get as many communists at UBC? Actually, I've, I've started to think that maybe I'm more of an anarchist, you know? I've been doing a lot of reading and... Have you ever stopped to consider that the estate is essentially coercive? I'm sure. I lie awake nights thinking about it. <laughs> Go ahead. Enlighten me. Gee, thanks for making this a priority. Right, hold up. Who's calling the police, you or me? It's useless. I already called. What'd they say? They took his description, they said they'd keep an eye out. They'll keep an eye out. He could be anywhere. Okay, just calm down. No one! I'm not gonna calm down. Travis is gone, Mark, or don't you get that? Mark! You guys better come with me. Oh my god, is he okay? You wanna kill him or should I? I heard somebody breathing in here and I thought it was Darth Vader. Nearly hammered him with this. Travis. What? Are you okay? Yeah, sure, whatever. Oh, Travis. Where the hell have you been? Around? What's it to you? You had us both worried sick. Don't you ever, ever. Cat. Time to go home, buddy. Hey, 
Hey, Gil. Try it out for the lead zombie in Night of the Living Dead. Chris. What, he spoiled your good looks? To stay up all night writing his bloody paper for Marsh's English class. Jerk. I assume you're referring to Marsh. Him too. Careful, Gil. Chris is a psychopath, and you're a small animal. Chris is nothing. One of these days, I'm gonna kick his black ass. Gil said what? Well, we thought we had to say something. I mean, people have the right to know what other people are saying about them. And, I mean, how dare he? And he's supposed to be your friend. Which is even worse. We're so, so sorry, Chris. Sure. See ya. Nice butt. <laughs> do not tell him I said that. So do you think he's gonna do anything? Gil's dead. But you're hungry. I miss you, man. I really did. Cat, too. I know how you feel. You do? So, where did you go? Nowhere. Just hang out. So what did Mom say? About me being gone. Well, we didn't actually tell her. You mean she never knew? I guess she would have found out You're sooner. You're such a there's... total loser! Travis wanted to cause a sting. How do you figure? Well, he figured if he ran away, your dad would come home, and then your parents would freak out, and they'd get back together. Yeah, but we didn't tell Mom. Right, you idiot. Hey, what matters is he's home. In the meantime, what about Friday? What about it? You don't even know what it is? You mean besides your six-month anniversary? Oh, yeah, you figured it out all by yourself. Well, duh, I can count to six. <laughs> so what do you want to do? We're in a hotel room. <laughs> Do not make promises you're not gonna keep. Yeah, with a whirlpool bathtub and mirrors on the ceiling. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's so amazing. We've known each other for eight years. Uh-huh. We still like each other. <laughs> Let's make this anniversary really special, okay? How special? On a scale of one to ten? Fire away. What's with your friend Scott? You mean like, uh... Well, he's a truly brilliant guy, but his mind sometimes gets ahead of his mouth. Especially when he's excited about something. Or somebody. Scott is a really nice guy. But, uh, maybe you ought to encourage him to get excited about something else right now. So you're not... Uh... No. I'm not. Um, okay? Okay. See ya. So, did you get the word on her? What word? Pregnant. What are you talking about? You were pregnant, and that's why you had to move here. Me. You don't even know who the father is? Who the hell told you I was pregnant? I guess we all make choices. I heard. You poor, poor thing. I mean, I guess you had to give it up, right? That would be the right thing to do. It was you and Aaron. Me and Aaron, what? What is wrong with you? I was just trying to offer you my sympathy. You're sick. You'd have to be to do this. And it's really too bad. Because now, you're completely screwed as far as the school's concerned. 
completely. Hey! B plus! I knew you had it in you. At least I had one good one in me. Hey, that's all that matters. See you. Oh! By the way, bud, I heard something today. Well, you can't believe everything you hear, Chris. It was Annika that told me, I think. Annika? Well, there you go. I mean, who'd believe Annika? You have to be seriously crazy. You think I'm crazy? Hey, of course not. But that's what you just said. No, I didn't. So now I'm a liar? No, absolutely not. You're upstanding, man. Annika said you were gonna kick my ass. Me? I, I didn't say that. I, I mean, um... You know, maybe I made some kind of joke. You know, just goofing around. In fact, you were gonna kick my black ass. No way. No chance. Man, you know I would never say any... <gasps> Please, if you ever, ever go there again, I'll rip your little ding-dongs off. Uh-huh. Chris, dance outside. Oh, hey, Kelsey. I'll just be a second. What are you doing? Emphasizing a point. You got me? Oh, yeah. Good man. Hey, sis, how's it going? Good. I'm gonna take her out for dinner. Someplace quiet where we can talk. What do you think? Um, I saw her after school. She hates me. No, she didn't say that. I should have known. Someone like her and someone like, like me. That's not true, man. I can't blame a guy for trying. Look, Scott, I, I got a pass on. But no worries, man. I'm fine. sell this place and each end up in some crummy apartment. Where'd you hear that from? Them. It's not gonna happen. So who are you gonna live with? Mum or Dad? They're fighting, Travis. It's just talk. If it comes to anything, we'll deal with it, okay? I was pregnant. That's why we moved here. <laughs> yeah, I did. It's not true, is it? Did you think it might be? <laughs> no, of course not. Look, you want to know? <laughs> so how does everyone know about this? Annika's spreading the rumor. <laughs> what did you do to her? I don't know. Maybe she misunderstood something I said. Possible. Or maybe it's the unforgivable sin. You're a lot better looking. Honestly, did you think it was true? No, I didn't. But don't take Annika so seriously. Yeah? Yeah. All right, done. So, tell me about Toronto. Big city, lots to do and see. Uh, sort of like this place, huh? <laughs> you must miss your friends like hell. You could probably say that. Boyfriend? Hey, it's none of my business. No, it's not. Any other deeply personal questions you'd like to ask? 
Have you ever had sex in a public place? Yes, but it was dark. Seriously? No. <laughs> <laughs> Where have you been? Just around. Did you guys have fun? You and Laura. You went out with her tonight, didn't you? No, we just bumped into each other at Captain Java. How do you know? Thanks for the company tonight. You have great timing. Does Jennifer know? There's nothing to tell Jennifer because nothing happened. So lay off, cat. Ah! Aaron! No! You're kidding, right? Oh, it's just so predictable. Laurel's a slut. Well, I knew it the minute I met her. Well, now she's trying to steal Jennifer's boyfriend? Oh my god, we have to stop her.